The World Games are coming in July of 2022. Sumo, softball, lacrosse, sport climbing, powerlifting, and more. This is the new generation of sports. Tickets are on sale. Buy today at TWG2022.com. Hey, it's Scott Martin with your weather video for August 7th, 2021. A few scattered showers and storms can be expected this afternoon and evening as a trough moves through the area. But ridging takes over on Sunday, and we'll see your typical summer forecast through the work week ahead. Here's what I have for you in today's video. Radar as of 6 a.m. shows that all of central Alabama is dry this morning, with the only shower activity showing up over portions of Lawrence, Limestone, and Morgan counties in north Alabama. Temperatures as of the 5 o'clock roundup were in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Anniston, Birmingham, Eufaula, and Tuscaloosa were all tied at 73 for the warm spots while Haleyville and Talladega were tied as the cool spots at 68 degrees. No watches, warnings, or advisories are currently in effect across central Alabama for now, and it should remain that way throughout the day as no severe weather is expected. Now, diving into the 06Z run of the GFS starting with today valid at 4 p.m., a trough axis will move through the area that will help with the development of a few showers and thunderstorms today, but overall chances remain rather small for much of the area. Skies will be partly to mostly sunny with highs in the mid-80s to the lower 90s. Sunday is trending drier and warmer as ridging starts to take over our weather pattern. Skies will be partly to mostly sunny with only a slight chance of a few isolated showers or storms. Highs will be in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. The rinse and repeat forecast is back for the work week ahead as each day will feature partly sunny skies with only the daily chance of isolated to scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms as ridging will control the pattern. Highs on each day will be in the upper 80s to the lower 90s across the area with the exception of a few mid 90s on Monday in the southern parts of central Alabama. And stepping off into voodoo land, next weekend looks to be more of the same with partly to mostly sunny skies and only a small chance of an afternoon shower storm. Temperatures continue to trend in the seasonal range for this time of the year. Now taking a look at the tropics, there are three areas of interest in the tropical Atlantic, which is no surprise as we are starting to get close to the peak of the hurricane season. The lead tropical wave is producing very limited shower activity and is not expected to develop any further. The middle system has only a low chance of development as it drifts westward over the weekend. The trailing system is producing a large area of showers and storms, but remains disorganized at this point. Conditions are only expected to become marginally conducive for development, and a depression may form by the beginning to the middle of the work week ahead. That will do it for today's video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have your next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day, and God bless.